Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to answer a question that a lot of people have been asking lately. Adobe released the ability to create and work with motion graphics templates inside of Premiere. However, it's been difficult, if not impossible, to change the fonts so far in these templates. So today, we're going to go over what seems to be the best method at the moment for changing the fonts in these templates. For this, you're going to need access to both After Effects and Premiere Pro. So let's dive in and get started. Start by finding your motion graphics file that you want to change the font to. For us, it's this simple title graphic. It should come in a folder, and included in that folder should be the motion graphics file denoted by the ending .mogrt. What we're going to do is simply rename the ending of this file from mogrt to zip. It's going to ask us if we want to create a zip file, and yes, we do. So now let's double click on the new zip file, and lo and behold, we've gone a little bit deeper into our file. Look for your new file with the extension AE graphic, and we're just going to do the exact same thing as before. Delete this ending and rename it zip and create a zip file. And there we go. Now we're just going to double click on this new zip file and deeper inside we should see a combined After Effects file. From here, we can open up our file in After Effects. And when we open it up, we should be greeted with the exact same file that we were working on in Premiere, only now in After Effects. From here, you do have the ability to change the font. Highlight the text you want to change and then choose a new font. Now here's the best part. When you're done, just go to the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't know where that is, go to Window, Essential Graphics. In this window, at the very bottom, you should see the option to export as a motion graphics template. It'll ask you to save your project, and then you can export this as a new motion graphics template. If you end up overwriting the previous file, you won't even have to exit out of Premiere and you'll already see these changes applied. Drag and drop the motion graphics template you were working on before, and now the new changes have been applied. You have a new font inside your motion graphics template. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I know that a lot of people have been asking about how to change fonts in these templates. And to our knowledge, this is the best method to date. But if in the near future there's any updates to the situation, we'll try our best to let you know as soon as we can. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.